hi in this video uh, I will show you how to create loops in Python and how loops can help in calculating the average and total sum total of sum or total of anything or total of counts so let's say for example if someone is running a small business and he or she has appointed 10 salesmen and now after one month uh, he or she wants to calculate the total sales of all 10 salesmen or the average sales of all 10 salesmen so with python we can create loops which will do the work for us so let's get started first i will give a variable total which will give me the total number of sales in the end so now it is assigned as zero because each time the loop will run the value to this total variable will would be assigned and now for this calculation we will use while loop and while stating while is true it will help to gen it will help us to generate an infinite number of loops which means that the loops the loop will keep on running until and unless you will command it to break or to come outside and inside this while loop i'm assigning a variable sales which will take the input in an integer format so int is for integer and inside this integer we will ask input like um, i would like to ask enter the sales amount any name you can give which makes sense to you, to you. so what this function will do is i'm taking input enter the sales amount and whatever input I will give it will straight away convert it into an integer form okay so now if using if statement if sales is equal to is equal to zero uh, I know that uh, someone is going to make a sales like of 10 rupees 20 rupees but not of zero so I'm assigning sales or assuming that if sales is equal to zero which I know that it's not going to be practical and possible in real life situation so i'm using this zero to break this loop so for example if i'm entering amount like someone has made a sales of fifty thousand, then second salesman made a sales of sixty thousand, then i want to get out of the loop like i have entered all my data so i would just press or enter zero and my loop would be over and i would have that all calculated amounts so that's why I've given zero uh, to sales. So I assume that if sales is zero, then break this loop. In the else statement, there are if and else statement in Python. And in the else statement, if sales is not equal to zero, that means it's something value greater than zero or other than zero. And what I want is add that value to this total variable total plus sales for example I have entered 50,000 so now my total is 0 so 0 plus 50,000 would be 50,000 now for the next time the loop will run now my total is 50,000 for the second time it's 50,000 now for example I have entered amount of 60,000 so 50,000 plus 60,000 is 110,000 so now for the third time the loop would the total amount after the loop would be 110,000 so this is how the loop works and for count also I want to increase the count so that I would know that how many number of times the loop has run so the count would be plus one so the first time if count is zero 0 plus 1, 1, then in the second time, now the count is 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, but the third time, 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's, that's how it will move on with the loop, so I have assigned total and count, and after that, what I want is I want the calculations, like average or total so we do we'll do the now after assigning the values to total variable and count variable 
as the number of time the loop will run the values will keep on changing so now i want to print for every time so that i can track my values and the number of counts or the number of times i have entered the details of a quiz so that i would first print total and then i would print count so each time the loop runs for example the first amount was 50000 for total now uh, it will print 50000 and the count is 0 plus 1 1 so it will also help me to track if i have entered the uh, the number or the figures correctly to this function to have a little calculator that we have made and at the end outside the loop i will write i will use print statement and average sales for this month Yes, and this is a string we have given in double quotes, single quote. Sorry, and now we will perform our main function. For that, we have built this function. What we want is average sales for this month. So, how we get the average total of all the numbers divided by the number of records present for example i am having a record of five students the marks of five students so what i will do is i will sum total of all the marks of five students and divide it by five because the number of students is five so we'll do the same thing here divide total by count so yes yes our loop is ready to run let's run it so yeah you can see that enter the sales amount exactly what we have written here so this is the first thing that's running the loop for example having a sum of let's say 50 rupees salesman one have done sales of 50 rupees second salesman have done 60 rupees it's easy to calculate smaller amounts so you can see now the sprint total it's coming here to 50 and the count that is 1 for the next time we have entered 60 so total now the new total is 110 and what's the counting of our record that we have entered is 2 so that's how we can take advantage from this loop function now for example third sales went on the sales of 75 fourth of 80 Fifth of 100, 200, and, uh, then again 78, any amount you can enter. The last one is 40. Now I will enter all the details of 10 salesmen. How much amount of sales they have made. So this is the detail that I have entered. I have entered randomly. So now I have entered all the data. I have I was only having the data of 10 salesmen now i've entered all the data so what now i want this final average for all the details so i have created a small function for that is if sales is zero then break the loop break this function so i would enter simply enter zero now the loop is over and i'm having my final output or outcome that is average sales for this month is 75.9 so that's how i can or we can solve this problem very easily with python and if you find this video learning amazing please give a like and subscribe this channel for showing your support